number 4 ranked Merrimack Warriors defeated the number 5 ranked Adelphi Panthers on Saturday afternoon by the score of 12 to 8 in front of a packed Martone Mahio field. And, you know, it was, a, it was a gutsy win. I mean, both teams played really hard. It was, a, you know, obviously a tough game. And, you know, defensively, we, you know, we got over a couple hiccups early and played well down the stretch. And offensively, once we started moving the ball, and, um, you know, we basically got a couple of those big goals late. And then, you know, our goalie, you know, Morgan Green played really well. And Nick Maggio with the faceoff X. And all in all, a good, good team win. Junior Greg Mala led the way for the Warriors, scoring two goals and adding three assists to avenge the Warriors' loss last season to the Panthers in the Northeast 10 Conference Championship game. Yeah, well, I mean, early we went down and um, we just, I mean, we listened to what our coaches said and just played our game. And, I mean, we were up four at half, so that basically did them in. I mean, put a couple more in the second half from, and everyone was scoring, which was awesome. So, I mean, just a big team win. The Warriors dominated the stat sheet in the opening half as they outshot the Panthers 27-8 and went 10-3 on faceoff. The Warriors scooped up 23 ground balls and were 9-10 on clearing attempts in the first half of action. I think as a team we had a good scout. Coach got a great scout for us and uh, our defense was great out there. Our offense was even better. Scored 12 goals on one of the best goalies. So it was great. Great win. I think we prepared it excellent. I mean, we're going to start you know, probably tonight as coaches. You know, we'll enjoy this win for a little bit and then move on. But you know, we're going to have them ready to go for Wednesday. And, you know, obviously for practice on Monday, it's all about St. Mike's. And we'll prepare the same way we prepared for Delphi. Merrimack 6-0 will stay at Martone Mahio Field for a conference matchup with St. Michael's on Wednesday, April 4th at 4 p.m. The 6-0 start marks the best start to a season since 2009.